This is Gemini Launch Control, T minus nine minutes and counting. T minus nine, all still going well with our countdown at this point. Uh, the command pilot for the mission, astronaut Pete Conrad, just asked for the right time and he was given it. Uh, the command pilot wanted to make sure that all the clocks in the spacecraft were synchronized properly and the spacecraft test conductor counted down to give him a synchronization time uh, to uh, get the clocks all squared away in the spacecraft. This has been accomplished and we are proceeding. Just a uh, matter of minutes ago, we completed uh, one of the key tests with the radio command guidance system. This was where the guidance system did generate signals that were sent to the launch vehicle, and those two engines at the base of the Gemini launch vehicle responded to the commands by swiveling or gimbling, as it's called. These engines will do the same maneuvers in space to keep us on the proper trajectory, working on signals from the guidance system of the launch vehicle itself. All systems still looking good as we come up on T-minus eight minutes and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control. T-minus three minutes and holding. T-minus three minutes and holding. This uh, duration of the hold will be about two minutes and 21 seconds. We will then resume our countdown, aiming toward the planned ignition time of the Gemini launch vehicle of 42 minutes and 23 seconds after the hour. When we do resume our countdown, we will bring aboard the final flight parameters to the uh, Gemini launch vehicle guidance system and the Gemini 11 spacecraft computer. This is the data that is required for this key first orbit rendezvous on the Gemini 11 mission. Now T-minus three minutes and holding. This is Gemini launch control. This is Gemini launch control. Mark, we have resumed our countdown. Now T-minus two minutes, 56 seconds and counting. Coming up on T-minus two minutes and 50 seconds and counting. As we just come out of the hold, all situations still looking good. We're completely automatic as far as the sequencer is concerned with the Gemini launch vehicle. We have received confirmation that the launch vehicle and the spacecraft computer have received the proper parameters for the flight. Confirmation just came through. We're coming up on T-minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We have a go from the range at this point, the supervisor range operations, that we are clear to launch. As we get down here in the final moments of the countdown, we'll open the various pre-valves that permit the fuel and the oxidizer to come down toward the thrust chamber in the first stage. Uh, there's one valve left, and that's a thrust chamber valve, which will open when we reach zero in the countdown to permit the fuel and oxidizer to ignite. Now coming up in T-minus two minutes. Mark, T-minus two minutes and counting, T-minus two. We continue to check in the blockhouse to make sure that all of, we are getting the proper readouts. T-minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. Still going well at this point. We'll be coming up on the important power transfer in about 10 seconds or so. This is when we go on internal power in the Gemini launch vehicle. The Gemini spacecraft went internal uh, about 10 minutes earlier, completely on internal power. Mark, T-minus 90 seconds and counting, T-minus 90. We're still looking good during the final phases of the Gemini countdown at this point. We have confirmation that we now are on internal power with the Gemini launch vehicle. Now T-minus one minute, 15 seconds and counting. We've made a final check of those engines, those two engines at the base of the Gemini launch vehicle. We have swiveled them once again in response to the guidance system, and they have shown that they are working properly at this time. Coming up on T-minus 60 seconds, mark. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. Coming down through the final phases now, we will start to open those free valves to permit the fuel and oxidizer to come down to the chamber. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. All still going well at this point. Not too many reports from the blockhouse now as they continue to monitor. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. Still looking good at this time. T-minus 35. As we continue down, we'll get ignition at zero. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. We'll get ignition at zero with the Gemini launch vehicle. For some 2.8 seconds, we'll take a close look. When we get up to 77% thrust, uh, there'll be another two-tenths of a second to release those explosive bolts. T-minus 15 seconds and counting. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have ignition.
go, two miles high, approximately two miles down range. Six miles altitude, four miles downrange. Lift off time, 42 minutes, 27 seconds after the hour. Directors pulling his controllers for a staging status. Miss Houston, you're a go for staging. 11 is go. 28 miles altitude. <laughs> Rider DCS. Slip stage and engine ignition. Roger, staging ignition. Guides initiate ignition at 52. Houston, Roger. Looking good. Second stage guidance has initiated. We're 50 miles high now and approaching 120 miles downrange. 11, Houston, your steering looks good. 11, Roger. 